Okay, let's go ahead and put this in slope intercept form and just remind you, remember, it's y equals mx plus b. m is the slope, b is the slope, is the y intercept. So let's see what we have here. We have a y and a 6 on this side, so we need to get the y by itself. So we can first move the 6 to the other side by subtracting 6 because it's an opposite operation. These will cancel. So we have 4x minus 6 equals 2y. Now we're close, but we still have the 2, which is a multiplication operation. So we can divide everything by 2 to get the um, y completely by itself. When we do that, 4 divided by 2 is 2x minus 3 equals y, because these cancel. Now, if you'd like, if you don't like it in this format, you can just switch to the other side, y equals 2x minus 3. Okay, let's take a look at this one, and let's move it into slope-intercept form, and remember it's y equals mx plus B. Well, when we take a look at this, we can see that y is not by itself, and it's also on the other side, but we can figure out how to solve this. Let's first move this 2 to the other side by subtracting 2 from each side, so we have 6x minus 2 equals 3y, and these will cancel. Now, we have a y by itself, but we have 3 in front of it. 3 times y, so we're going to do an opposite operation. We're going to divide everything by 3. So when we do that, these cancel. So it's y equals negative 2 thirds, and then 6 divided by 3 is 2, so it would be 2x minus 2 thirds equal y. And then if you'd like, you can just move the y to the other side. So y is equal to 2x minus 2 thirds. Whoop, barely, barely on there. So there we go.